to things that you want a website to do is show graphics and picture and text. So I'm going to add a graphic and you click on the little icon that's the picture graphic, draw a box right where you want that to show and I'm going to get Holly Ann's picture and it's going to be way too big for the page but I'll show you how to fix that because you can do it right from inside the program. You see over here this change to picture properties and I'm going to click on the link that says stretch, the little red button. I'm going to grab this in the bottom corner and I'm going to picture to the side I, size I actually want it. And you can grab it and move it anywhere on the page you decide you want it, but right there is where I want to put it. Remember to um, populate the alt tag. And in Net Objects, you've got your picture properties, and right there is the alt tag. And I just want to put Holly Ann Recital. That populates the tag for me. Okay? Now, what's next is text. And so I'm going to click on the text tool, and I'm going to draw a box for my text. And I'm going to write in there, and you can type it in, or you can cut and paste it from another file. And Holland's Recital. And I'm going to put that in the center. So I'll just click the little center thing in the text tool. I'm going to highlight the text, and I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm going to make it great big, about a three. And then I'm going to change its color. I'll make it a little bit more like the color of her dress here. And that looks about here. No, a little too dark. There, that one. And say OK. And that's how you change the color. And I'm going to get in here and edit this and make it a capital. And that's text. Now, suppose I wanted to put this picture inside of some text. Well, let's make a text box. And I'm going to put it over here. Then I'm going to go to my documents and see if I can find a uh, just some um, some kind of text that I can put it in there. This is uh, um, here it comes. And I can close that. And we'll just grab, oh, that much of the text. And I'm going to copy it. Then I can close this. And put my cursor in the top box and do a Control V to paste it. And all of the formatting that was in there is still comes with it. So let's get rid of a little bit of these. And I just do a delete. So I've got more, doesn't matter what it says in this example, but just some text to show you. OK. Now, if I wanted to put that picture inside of the text somewhere, all I do is drag it and drop it in front of that first line of text. That's going to move everything down here. Let's move the whole box of text over, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it fills the page. And you see, all I do is get, drag those handles and move them. So I'm going to click on the picture again, and my properties box came up. So I'll click on the alignment tool, and I want it to left wrap, and it does. And I want to give it some space around the page a little bit. So I'm going to change those to a 10. 
and that gives me some space. You see that here around your graphic? But that's all it takes to put a picture, and you can see from having the picture big, it got big. So let's squeeze it back up to where we want it. And see, there's little handles that I'm going to use, and I'm going to grab that little handle and pull it back up here, and that squeezes up my page again. So in what it's going to look like on the web, all you do is click on the page preview. There's three tabs here, page design, HTML source, and page preview. So we'll look at the preview, and that'll show you exactly what the page is going to look like on the web. It built the home page, the about page, and you'll notice as I go over these, the uh, JavaScript rollovers are already working for me. I didn't have to do anything else to do that. And I'll go back to page design. And so you find a really, really nice your front page, your home page with. You want it to be something that's going to make a splash. You want it to be something that's going to catch people's attention. And a home page is a great pet place to put a video. You know, you've got about six seconds to get attention on the web. And I think this page would kind of do that. Now, you can name this banner home on the navigation bar. And you'll notice when I put it in that box at the front, it said home. Well, if I want to change it on the banner, I click on the banner, and you notice the banner properties came up again. And all I have to do is say, um, welcome, oh, no, C-O, welcome home. Okay. And that changes it on the banner, but it did not change it here, nor does it change it in the navigation properties of the website. Okay. Now, 